Hello everyone, my name is Mars and welcome back to Starlight Vega Part Fart. I can't believe I said fart. Part 3. Now last time we got laid down. But it, it, it's still pretty mild, so you know. I'm hoping we can discover more in today's playthrough. Anyway, let's get to this. For once, I'm the first one to arrive in quest. I tap impatiently onto my desk, waiting for Melody. My mood is sour. For one, those notes went missing. And two, I haven't seen Lyria all morning. Huh? What is her deal? She held on to me all night. Are you sure that's the only thing that happened? I rub at my cheeks to stop flashing. Aww. Was she mad that I eventually kicked her out last night? Oh, I mean, after the third attempt? What? what? Which area did she went to? Putting my face into my hands, I tried to rub some of the sleepiness out of my eyes. Yet another weird dream last night. Something about them bothers me, but I can figure out what. Alright, class, settle down! I will be taking attendance now! Why did I say it like that? Class is completely filled in by none. The clock is at the... Uh, as the teacher calls out names one by one. Melody still is there. <gasps> What's going on? Melody? Melody. Has anyone seen Miss Rope Coco? Co nice name. Okay. I saw her walking to school this morning. Huh. Unusual for her to be late. She was walking to school this morning. The only thing that she takes more seriously than school is the chance to get away from her mother. Huh. The minutes go by as I start to worry. Did something happen? Did Lyria do something to her? <gasps> oh no! Katonk, katonk! Huh? Sid flutters outside the window, hitting it against in a frantic manner. Oh no. I unlatch the pain and pull it aside. It's Melody! Oh my god. I, I'm, t I'm starting to regret giving Sid that voice. She's stuck! What are you talking about? Stuck where? Hey, hey, free! Is there a problem, Miss Reed? Uh. Of course, the bathroom excuse. <laughs> you couldn't go before the class started. <laughs> Alright, your excuse. Go hurry, Meredith's in trouble. She's over here! Uh, oops. Where? I look around the area, but I can't find any sign of Melody. Where is she? In the book! Huh? We were trying a teleportation spell before school, but it turned out to be the wrong one. She got transported into the book! What? I can't go into the book without feeling serious repercussions. Uh, I get on fine. You'll have to go inside it yourself and tell her, tell her the counter spell. My throat is literally getting scratched there. How can I do that? I can't read the book, so you just have to tell me what it says. I'll think of a counter spell based on that. Right. I gotta do what I can to get Melody out of there. You're cutting class! That's what you're gonna do. I pick up the book. What the hell is all this stuff? It's a bunch of triangles and weird squiggly lines. What's the matter? Melody got trapped in the book. <laughs> That's what you get for lugging around that no good thing. I shouldn't have let her have it. That's beside the point. See, this isn't good! Books like this are tend to contain really powerful magic. It can manifest into a real nightmare if someone gets trapped inside one. Well, how do we get her out? This really isn't my area of expertise. This can't be happening. Oh, what? Huh? What? Oh, it worked. Melody, are you okay? I'm fine. I've been trapped in here since this morning. Y you were trapped. How did that glass get fixed so easily? <laughs> isn't this the study in my house? This... This is the study as it was meant to be seen, or, well, a memory of it anyway. Oh, okay, that makes sense. And then I look ab around, it does seem a bit different. The bookshop is no longer destroyed. I'm glad you're okay. You had me totally freaking out. You were doing magic before school? It's my mother. She makes it impossible to do anything. I was so excited when I got out of the house that I couldn't wait to try some spells. I had to have C translate the book's transcribed pages by flashlight last night. Oh, that's a pretty neat idea. I guess ancient spell books are no match for general curiosity. Space is completely real. Even the dust and sunlight appear correct. Wait a minute, does that mean we can see the rest of the house? No, not quite. Oh! She loosens the, the latch on the window and sings it over. Are we gonna kiss? Come see. 
I look outside, you can see a few trees, but beyond that, it's a like hazy white space as far as I can see. So I like that he, they that they uh, made made a CG of this, because he didn't have that great of a memory. Yes, it seems most people only remember the important details, or small pleasant things like the breeze. She's right, I can feel a light breeze picking up my hair. It seems to be coming from nowhere though. I look around, there's some pretty weird things on the shelves. What's this? Some sort of notch crystal ball? That's a wisher. Just think of something and it shows it. The book says it was used to extort knowledge from traitors, but I think it's nicer this way. I pick up some sort of bracelet with a heart-shaped redstone. It's quite pretty. That's a love bracelet. It shows the true colors of the one you give it to, whether they love you or not. Ooh! Huh, that might be useful. Yes, shame you can't actually take anything out of here with you. This place is just memory. I'm pretty sure it's still in the original room. Still, something like that might come in handy. What would you use it on? Oh, uh, I don't know. Anyways, I'm glad you're here. I like Sid, but it's pretty obvious he's spying on me. Oh, she she changed mouths. Is that what's in your on your mind? Ah, don't worry about stupid stuff like that. Lyria's not really. Is it really stupid? Well, I mean, it's just, uh, you're so focused on that lately, so perhaps stop talking and not trying to make her feel bad. It's just, why is she so interested in you? I mean, n not that I think you're cute or anything. Are you, are you being a true? <laughs> I mean, I think you're cute or anything, but uh, you don't find it odd? In lore, demons always have an ulterior motive, and they'll do whatever it takes to achieve it. Malicious spirits are one thing, but demons are always portrayed as tricky and manipulative. Am I being manipulated? But to what purpose? I'm sorry, Arya. You came here to help me and all I've done is act strange. I'm just worried about you, that's all. It's okay. You're right, I have no idea about Lyria or what she wants, and sometimes she dodges my question. But it seems you learned so much from the book in such a short time. You're really amazing. Actually, time goes by very slow here, or so the book tells me. I've been trapped almost a full day. Um, you're thinking that pretty well. I wasn't exactly bored, but I could use another set of eyes. We're supposed to be looking for a silver feather bookmark. I've been looking through the books, but it's so difficult to stop myself from reading them. A silver feather bookmark, huh? I'm sure it's gotta be somewhere in these. Millions of books. Y you're lying. It's it, There's just like 50 or something. Oh, it's night? Phew. We've been at this a few hours. In the book's time frame anyway. The clock in the present probably hasn't moved in a few minutes. I hope so. Y you'll both be cutting classes. We're not having a lot of luck though. I hope Melody doesn't get hungry in here. I lean back on the desk. My hand slips. Losing me to, cause, to lose my balance. Bonk! Oof. Blop. A small blackened book fell out from the desk. Oh! Melody picks up the book, turn it over as she inspects it. Look at this, it's your grandfather's diary. What? Let's see here. Wow, this is really interesting. Whoa, is there any mention of Lyria? Hmm, not that I can see, but it mentions Vega. It looks like your grandfather and Grandmother both went there. <gasps> Ooh, this is crazy. Uh, is is Arya's grandmother from Vega? That would be so fun. Twist. I skim through it quickly. It looks like it's all true. Grandpa mentions grandma and taking her through a portal. The, this part, he just arrived in Vega. The forest here is chilly and loamy. Crystal takes place of the waters appearing the landscape. She took my hand, exclaiming lightly, What a momentous occasion! A cacophony of... of... It continues like this for several... Did he plan to write the novel or something? The book was more than I ever could imagine. It brought both Lucinda and I closer and brought me to the King of Vega? Huh! He carries none of the initial fear of humans as the others do. All of Vega's creatures have fantastical features such as horns and tails, but his are quite striking in spite of it. His crimson hair and golden eyes. Ooh! Lyria is a princess. 
gave up a dangerous appearance despite his white mask and mirthful laughter. His cloak, long and languid against the fine velvet of his cloak. Jeez, I wish he'd get to the point. Oh, I love how he writes. <laughs> the king is very interested in book. With it, he believes he will, we will be able to unite our two worlds. We make quite a team. With me transcribing the book due to being unaffected by the curse it has on demons and him translating, the pages are burned too badly to read. Ugh. I can't really read this on this. Let's skip ahead. I'm worried this book is not what it seems. The king seems to feel it too. I worry this is not a tool for rebirth as I initially expected, but something else altogether. The rest is missing. Plop. A silver, a silver bleh. Is this a tongue twister? A small silver bookmark falls out. The bookmark, but the book, it's that it? Yes, the remaining half of the book seems to be missing entirely. Let's look for the rest. I want to look too, but I'm not sure how much time has passed since we've been here. I don't want anyone to worry. Oh, but perhaps we can come back another time? Okay, let's get out of here. Alright, hold the bookmark and whoop. Oh. Oh, he's so sad. What? Hey, what just happened? The humans are back! Seems like only a few minutes has passed out here. On the plus side, I, I now have a useful place to study the book and do homework. I wouldn't be fooling around with that book, little girl. Next time you go, things might not be so pleasant. You're in over your head you think your little trips inside are safe. I feel something soft in my hand. The bookmark. Wow, I thought we weren't supposed to be able to think things out. Meldy holds it like it's some precious artifact that might crumble if she is to rub. I suppose maybe it is. That one's special. Uh, it'll act like the book does and create a portal to that room, but only if you're in the study. It's the one thing the book will allow you to take out of it. Oh, the first per period should be just about over. Oh, you did cut class. Oh no, I mean, you both miss a class. You're worried about that now? I walk up to the path leading to the carpentry when third period ends. After an event move meeting, I wonder if Mel D wants to eat outside today. My good mood comes screeching to a heart when I see a familiar red haired girl. Ugh, what are you doing here? I drag her off to a secluded spot as she arms. I get worried. You suddenly just disappeared this morning. Then you were with that Melody girl. You spent so much time with that book brain. <laughs> book brain. Oh, it's just no fun. What do you see in her? Cut it out. She's my friend. Friend. Ouch. I'm going to spend time with her. Don't play dumb. You know there's more to it than that. That is true. She knows. Brushing up her comment. I think back to Lyria's own behavior. That reminds me. Where were you this morning? You weren't in the house when I woke up. <laughs> I, I really like her ears when she, it goes down like that. She crosses her arms and leans against the tree, looking aloof. Around. Despite her attempts to be vague, I see a smile on her lips. Is she trying to play hard to get? I have her. Stay out of sight, okay? Oh, hey! She grabs onto my arm. Whoa! Ah, jeez. We were having fun with Melody all day and I was so bored. I just want to learn more about humans. And you, Arya. Come spend time with me, pretty please. Aww. She's, she's asking nicely. Come on. I suppose it's been boring waiting out here. And she has been behaving, mostly. Um, 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 uh, yeah. I'm gonna spend time with you then. Sorry, Melody. Alright. Fine, fine. Let me see if Melody wants to. No way. She hates me, you know. Probably because I'm prettier. Because <laughs> you're taking away her love. Just come with me, alright? She grabs the side of my face. Hey, hey, wait. Why are you? She pulls my face to her closer and closer. Is, is she going to because <gasps> Kiss! I feel her forehead touch mine. Ah, Wait, whoa. We're in another forest, but there's definitely a strange atmosphere to this place. 
That's a nice painting though. I look around me. The trees are unnaturally tall. Looking all the way up, the sky is a light lavender color despite it being rather early in the day. Where exactly are we? In Vega. My heart skips a beat. Wow, geez. She could just re teleport easily to Vega? Come on. Come on, Lyria. Well, not really, but I want to show you part of what it looks like. This is just a fading memory. This place is so serene and calm, a complete contrast to the girl next to me. Sit, sit. So this is a memory? Yes, nothing here is real. It's just another glamour. Strange crystals. There's no crystals. I'm not seeing crystals. Don't like me. Out of the ground like weeds in some places. I lean over and try to pluck one of the crystals, but I just feel empty space. There is no crystal. That would have been nice if they just added. I mean, it could have, it, it could have been easily painted. You can't look, you can look, but not touch. I take another look around and the sky is unusually blank. Haze is the only thing I can see beyond the trees. The log I'm sitting on doesn't have any te texture either. Birds with extra eyes and insane looking plumage sit up in the trees. They are more vividly colored than birds you'd see in the woods by my house. But some changes are so small, I wonder if I'd even notice them. If you hadn't told me we were in Vega, I would have never guessed we left my realm. Glamours can be like that, since it's a way of hiding things. If you're not looking, you may not notice. What are those flying things? Those dancing lights? Fireflies. They carry magic to and from crystals. They're both essential to our world and our source of power. Huh. Small crystals like this hardly have any power, but big ones are an indication you're close to the castle. This place is so calming. Can you do this with all your memories? Not all of them. This was my solace trapped in that stone. Ah, looking at Lyria's solemn expression, I begin to think what her life must have been like until now. How lonely was she in the crystal? She must have felt when coming to the- Aww. How is your home in Vega like? It's a lot like here but different. You would like it, Arya. There's so much to see and do. I hope we can go to Vega eventually. Do you want to go back? Hmm? The human world is quite intriguing, us or you, but there's a great many things about Vega that you can't just replace. I'm sure you'll find a way back someday. <laughs> she smiles. When I do, I like you to come with me. Mmm. <gasps> she her slender fingers grass around mine. This is getting kind of <laughs> well, I kind of wish you and Melody got along better. She'd really get a kick out of this. <laughs> Forget about Melody. It would be nice to come here for real, right? Uh, 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 me? Go to Vega? I guess I wouldn't mind. Yeah, this place is really beautiful. <laughs> I, I'm totally favoring her. <laughs> That's not obvious, isn't it? Oh, what? What are you doing, you idiot? She grabbed onto me, pushing me to- Oh, we're gonna have this one again, huh? Oh, I can't make it anymore. <laughs> My heart is pounding. Can you hear it? What? No, get off me. I can hear yours, Arya. I really... What do I have to do to get you to like me? <laughs> Are you sure I'm not... Are you sure I'm supposed to woo her? I mean, it's going in reverse so far. <laughs> you can't stop doing... St up like this? I'm sorry, I just can't wait any longer. Wait for what? Hold on, Lyria! What? Before I realize what's going on, Vegas disappeared. Ah! What? We're back in the forest. I scramble out from under her. Ah, oh, darn. I don't really have magic left. Ew! Oh, sorry, sorry. Quit doing stuff like that. I'm sorry, I just want you to show you my memory. <laughs> what kind of memory do you want to... <laughs> what kind of memory do you want us to see, huh? Do you hate it, Arya? No, I didn't hate it. It was lovely, Lyria. Thank you. Mm. She's blushing? <laughs> What's wrong? Nothing. <laughs> well, you enjoy your school. Go on now. I'll see you later, okay? <laughs> 
<laughs> Africa and she's gone. I think I saw a little red on her cheeks. Oh, she's blushing. Mm. Her back in bed again. Mm. 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 I shoot up from bed. It's those dreams again and again. <sighs> this isn't restful at all. The window opens. It's Lyria. What's wrong? I heard you tossing and turning. Um, it's nothing. Want me to stay in bed with you again? <laughs> sure! I mean, I wouldn't mind that again. No, I barely got enough sleep last night as is. I've just these weird dreams. What kind of weird dreams? It's always the same place, even though I've never seen it. I feel like I'm actually there. I see. So what do you think it means? Who knows? I'm no dreams here. Try to rest up tonight, okay? You got a long day ahead of you with school. Ah, oh, she's so thoughtful. She lives through the door. That was hardly the answer that I was expecting. She seems to take everything else so seriously. I thought maybe my dreams meant something. Ugh, I really am paranoid. I guess I'll get some sleep. Okay. It's no use. I pull out the silver bookmark. Lyria, I never did get the chance to ask her about this. Maybe she's still up? Oh, Lyria. Hey, Lyria. Sorry to wake you. I look around. Huh. See, the glass is already fixed. Lyria's not here. That's weird. Where did she go? The bookmark. Freeze. Oh, it's burning my fingers. Oh, what? What? Wait, this scenery. No doubt about it. I'm in the study inside the book. How did you know? How would you know? It's the same. This feel this place feels different from before. Wait a minute. The bookmark's gone! Oh no. Oh crap. Frantically I checked the floor to see if I dropped it. It's nowhere to be found. I'm starting to panic a little bit, but at this point Okay, calm down. Should I try to look for another bookmark? I check the desk. The spot where the book was is empty. We already cloned to this place before too. Well then better do a tour search. I found nothing. My heart is pounding. I have no way of getting out of here. Oh no. I turn around to the floor. Only then I do notice it's slightly ajar. Oh, what a horrible place. It paints my eyes. It's like the blackness is shifting. There's nothing out here. Let's go back. I turn around. Eh? What the hell? The door is gone! I stare back into the darkness. Looks like I've got no choice but to go forward. Oh no. Wherever that might lead. Oh no. I seem to be in a narrow corridor. I can't see anything. There's only enough room for me to walk straight ahead. I decide to test the physics of this place. First I try pushing down with my foot. It sinks right through the floor. I pull it back out with no trouble. I press my face up against the invisible wall and push my head out of the bound. There's nothing but an empty blackness like the depths of space it's scary i pull myself back into the room unsettled my pulse thuds in my ears as i walk down the path soon a shape appears at the very far end a door it's not like i have a choice this darkness is unnerving me i feel like i'm being watched let's hope whatever is on the other side is friendly uh herp huh, i'm in the study again hello well hello who might you be um, I look around. Why am I studying? I wasn't expecting to see a person. Wait, he looks somehow familiar. We stand across the room eyeing one another. Namanda seems surprised by my arrival. You bear an uncanny resemblance to my daughter, Mary. His daughter, Mary? My mom's name- Hey, hey, it's grandpa. Hi, grandpa. You look really young. But, wait, is your name Reed? Indeed it is. You're my grandfather? Hmm, you say I'm your grandfather, but my daughter would be younger than you right now. This is quite strange. I'm guessing you're not from the book. You lack a certain malice. He's rambling like crazy. I don't know how to even begin to process what he's saying. But why is he so young? This hasn't this doesn't add up. Wait, I went to your funeral as a kid. You weren't anywhere near as young as you are now. My funeral, you say? Yes, I suppose my old body would have died by now. You've been dead for like 10 years. I've been trapped here so long I hadn't even noticed. Thousands of years, perhaps. Thousands of years? Yikes, that's right. Time is much lower here. 
Do you know how to get out of here? I imagine the same way you got in. I had a feather bookmark, but I lost it when I came here. A feather bookmark. I wonder. He heads over to the desk and takes out a familiar looking book. He pulls out a blue bookmark. It's the diary, and this one doesn't look burned. I suppose it's no use to me anymore, being dead and all, so you keep it. Now then, best be up with you. Wait, I've got questions. Do, do you know someone named Lyria? Lyria doesn't ring your bell. Oh, you know, red hair, horns, a tail? He thinks for a moment before opening his mouth into an ah shape as if recalling something. Nope, never heard of her. Out of curiosity, is this Lyria a demon? I, I like how I keep changing his voice. It's not consistent. <laughs> yes, she is. Well, in not in the normal sense, I guess. She says she's from a place called Vega. Aha, how wonderful. So my findings do lead me somewhere. Findings? If you're from the future, my granddaughter, then I can only imagine that I succeeded. I'd offer you some tea, but I don't have a tea set. Or a corporeal form. Also, I wouldn't stay here any longer if I were you. Why? You're from outside the book. And there are many to whom your presence is unwanted. <gasps> oh, many? I shiver. Shush. <laughs> Rush. Ah, sounds like something has moved outside the door. Till then, little Arya. Wait. How did you know my name? Hey, luck, I guess. Feels like it's back to normal. The bookmark is silver now. This was nuts. Ah, she's angry. What just happened? Yee! If I can compose myself, the soul shows up out of nowhere. Your life force was here, but you were nowhere to be found. I came looking for you, but then I was taking inside the book. What? Be more careful. She's calling me now. She seems pretty angry. She's right though, if I hadn't found the blue bookmark, what would have happened? Would I still be trapped there when whatever that thing was? Sorry. Ugh, I just don't trust that book, Arya. It isn't safe for you to wander in there. Despite her harsh tone, Lyria's expression quickly softens. I really like her. <laughs> she fidgets and looks down, kicking her feet. <laughs> If you're in that book, I can't protect you. I didn't say exactly sign up for it. I only wanted to get my mind off those weird nightmares. Come to think of it, my dreams lately can't just be a coincidence, given everything else that's going on around me. I just don't get it. Why am I suddenly having these nightmares now? I wish I could have could have asked Reed about them. Lyria lifts me up into her arms. Ooh, hey, hang on tight. She launches us out of the window, landing softly on her feet. She sets me down and in one smooth motion, grabs my hand, pulling me along. Let's go on a date. What? It's the middle of the night. Wait, what are you saying? I can't sleep right. Why don't we make the best of it? Without waiting for my response, Lyria swings around, humming to herself. I guess this couldn't hurt. Oh, it's night now. Once we arrived in the forest, Lyria stops moving. She indicates for me to sit on the soft ground next to her. Come, why don't you make yourself comfortable? Defeated, I oblige, sitting down on the grass next to her. Even though it's nighttime, the air is still slightly warm and everything is easy to see. Lyria is illuminated by the moonlight, staring up into the vast sea of stars above us. This really does feel like a day. Lyria leans against me, resting her head on top of mine. Um, let's stay like this, just for a little while. Alright. Her body is pressing up against mine, breathing in and out steadily. Her breathing soothes me for a moment, before Lyria suddenly moves. Arya, you were right. I knew your grandfather. You! I didn't lie to you. When I awoke up the stone, I really didn't remember much of anything. But that's not a case anymore. Now I am remembering a lot of things about my home, about Vega. Lyria stares at the sky thoughtfully. There is a curse in Vega. A curse? Yes, a curse that is sapping our magic power. So why did they send you? In Vega? See? Okay, 
I, I kind of figured that out. I'm a princess. I look at Lyria skeptically. You, you read your grandfather's diary. You could have figured that out. Really? Yes. I see. I'm trapped here when I could be helping in Vega. That's why I want to go back. Aww. Lyria's hand grabs, grasps <laughs> mine. I wonder if it was fate that I would meet you here. After all, what are the odds I would become attached to the burger? Who could help me? Huh. Well, it's only natural I'd want to help you, but how can I? You already are, aren't you? You let me live with you and you tell me about things from your world. And that's enough? It's more than any other humans. Oh, that's so nice. The air's voice is soft and gentle as she speaks. If I'm not careful, I'll not forget what she's really like. <laughs> in an attempt to steer the conversation in another way, I think of a question that Lyria might be able to answer. So if you knew my grandfather, was he the one who put you in the stone? I am not sure. I have memories of my time in Vega and of the curse, but everything else is so hazy. I don't remember why I was trapped in that stone or how I got there. I see. So Lyria is a princess and she was trying to save people from a curse? And now she has some sort of amnesia? Huh. Okay. That certainly explains some things about her, but it also makes me wonder. This does seem rather convenient. Arya, you like me, right? What? Caught completely off guard by the sudden question. I let out of gas. <laughs> Gasp! You spend time with me every day. You could be with Melody or do something else you enjoy. Yeah, you're right, you know. But instead, you're always talking to me. I, that's not. Although the topic came suddenly and an inappropriate time, my mind immediately became filled with the woman in front of me. Lyria. I don't know what to feel when I'm with her. She takes things a little too far sometimes, but without even realizing it, I be... I've been going to meet her every chance I can get. When she's around, I never know what's going to happen. If she'll do some strange thing, if she'll hug me and somehow... What is it? You have such a lovely smile on her face. <laughs> she's going blush. She's blushing. Dear, yeah, can you... You can be a bit strange and you really need to settle down around, around Melody, but... I think you're a good person, Lyria. I think so too. She's really nice. As I finish speaking, there you close in her mouth and averts her gaze. <laughs> ah, now it's her turn to fidget. <laughs> You're so cute. I've decided I'll take you along to Vega. And when we get to Vega, I will properly shower you in golden jewels. <laughs> Any wealth you could imagine. <laughs> well, she is a princess, so it's possible. Although surprised by Lyria's sudden declaration, I play along. Her doves. That doesn't really interest me. It interests everybody to some extent. Well, I mean, I don't want to do something because of Jewels and a reward is all. Nice! Faced with my refusal, Lydia stops talking again. She thinks her response over for a second before trying once more. Ah, my dear, surely there's something you desire. I desire you! Okay, dear, yeah, let's just go to Vega together, okay? Tell me, you shall have it. I really don't have anything like that. She leans over and slides her hand in onto my thigh. Hey, if there's nothing material, maybe perhaps we can find something else? I may not know the way to your heart just yet, but it's only a matter of time. With that in mind, we should start by getting to know each other more. True. I sit down a little farther away. She scoots over. I could do with less stuff like that. Like what? Her fingers start to move in small circles on her skin. I remove her hand, ignoring her mouth. <laughs> like that. Lyria stops moving for a second. A for a moment. She removes her hand from my body and almost appears to be genuinely apologetic. I understand. She seems a little sad as she says that. She leans away and positions herself to face me. Even though it's her own fault. I <laughs> oh, that's adorable. <laughs> Perhaps I should turn the conversation into something safer? So you're really a princess? Yes, a very important one too. But with going to Vega, I... It's just so strange to think about a princess from another realm inviting me to go with her. 
I mean, that's that's actually a pretty common trope, you know. There's nothing strange about it, not in Vega. I glanced at Lyria, still trying to picture her as a princess. So this is all true? Of course. You really think I would lie about this? N no, I mean... If Lyria really is a princess, then her offer to take me back to Vega with her might be legit. If that's the case, then I'll... I'll come with you, Lyria. Let's go to Vega together. Well, you can't go back right away, can you? No, and not without your help. So I still have some time. You'll consider it? I nod. Lyria seems to ease up a bit. I'll think about it, but this isn't the time. It's getting late. We should probably head back. Lyria looks disappointed, but she doesn't say anything. So Lyria's a princess with a kingdom in trouble? Looking at the way she carries herself, it's not too far-fetched. But Lyria is trying really hard to get me to go to Vega. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Lyria has a connection with my grandfather. She's forgotten her past, double quote. No matter how I look at it, it's a little much to be a mere coincidence. Even so, I want to give Lyria my trust. It's not fair to judge her when her shit sit shit to <laughs> What am I saying? <laughs> shit <laughs> Situation is bleak. Perhaps everything she's saying is true after all. It's so pretty, isn't it? The night sky. Prompted by Lyria's comment, I shift my focus to the sky. Looking up, I can see tons of stars. Yeah, living in a place like this, you get views you can't normally see in the city. What do you mean? Well, you live around a lot of other people. It's harder to see the stars. That is true. As we walk back to the house, Lyria's hand brushes against mine. More than a few times to be considered unintentional. <laughs> She takes my hand in her own. Um, Lyria. Yes, your hand. You don't like it? It's not that I don't, but you don't mind it? Well, no, but there's no way I can look her in the eyes now. This is too embarrassing. Even there's no one else around. We walk back home that way. E. I, I wish there was another scene, you know. Okay. I'm gonna stop off for now. I mean, I got... Uh, <laughs> a melody scene that's fine, but it it's really it get it. The video is probably really long now, so I'm gonna continue this next playthrough, and you know, hopefully we'll uncover more fun stuffs. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Smash that subscribe button and turn on the notifications, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!